China will pursue its GDP growth rate, but only in a way that brings real benefits to the people. Answering questions from Chinese and international media, Premier Li Keqiang's emphasis was on improving quality and efficiency within the framework of sustainable development. China's economy still faces severe challenges this year and probably a more complicated situation. We need to strike an important balance in terms of continuing our steady growth. Some of the key factors in this are boosting employment, keeping inflation and debt risks under control, and increasing our efforts to protect the environment. China's economy has great potential and tenacity. We have the ability and the means to keep it growing within a reasonable range. The premier says there needs to be more oversight of finance and debt. Asked about the risk of financial product default, Li described the issue of debt as manageable and without systematic risks. There should be more government transparency and decentralization. The premier spoke about cutting government red tape, saying over 40 administrative approval steps have been cancelled or devolved to lower-level governments. But more reforms planned for 2014. Premier Li said that this restructuring would boost the fight against official corruption. Something he called an enemy of government. Implementation of power and public spending must be subject to institutional checks. We are planning to publicize a list that will define specific government powers as soon as possible. We will set out clear boundaries for the exercise of power to ensure that power is not abused. Premier Li said the government would make more affordable housing available for low-income people. It will promote fairness in educational opportunities, and pension schemes across the country will be expanded. In his work reports at the start of the MPC session, Premier Li spoke of a war on pollution. At Thursday's press conference, he was asked to expand on that commitment. This year, we have set a 3.9 percent reduction target for cutting our energy intensity. That comes on top of the 3.7 percent reduction we achieved last year. This is equivalent to cutting coal burning by 220 million tons. The government will severely punish those who create pollution through illegal activities and hold accountable the regulators who fail to perform their duties. Most of the question focused on domestic issues, but on foreign policy, the Chinese premier had a strong message. He said that while China will continue its policy of peaceful development, the country will be resolute in safeguarding all its territory. Over the last year, China has taken initial steps in reforming its governance and the economy. The country's new leadership has offered a vision for policies that tackle long-standing problems. But to achieve these goals, the country needs a clear and more detailed roadmap and most importantly, a strong implementation. Zhang Yinyi, CCTV, Beijing.